Hello, everyone. Linda Israel here. Oh, I just realized I had my gloves on. Hey, I'm so glad that you're joining me today, even though this isn't a live because I am on a cruise ship on the moment. I may be in the chat. So if you're here during the live premiere, make sure you do hop into the chat. I am, am grateful for each and every one of you for your likes and for your comments if you'll please leave a comment at the end of this video uh, when we're done about what you liked about today and then that way i can reply to it and we get a conversation going today i thought i would work on a christmas journal i started this i believe it was a christmas in july so if i have my act together i'll have the link in the description box to where i started this journal and i thought what i would do is kind of challenge myself i have a digital download that's from calico collage that has these really cute santas there's some bigger cards i think they're one two three four and four and a quarter maybe or four by four in size and then there's some smaller cards with the same images that are i think almost two inches square i think that's right yeah so i thought what i would do is i know that there's some pages that aren't completed in this journal so i thought i would just kind of flip through to those pages and add these in somewhere you know try to mix it in i know it's not completely the same theme as what we had here but i thought it might be kind of fun to pretend maybe these were some vintage cards that we wanted to include in this journal so how would we do that so that's kind of my thinking on that so how is everybody how are you having a fabulous start to your week and i hope that you're able to enjoy and do the things that you love i am on a cruise at the moment i'll probably speak up in the chat if i have internet and kind of see how everybody is doing but i just love to have you chat with me just for a moment let me know what you are doing today you know what i think this doesn't have uh, any other embellishment on it, so maybe we can add something but you know just let me know uh, what, what you're working on what you're doing since I think what I want to do is this was a, a card that I cut off and I think I want to put it over here. Now, I don't know if I want to add some other paper around that, but I thought maybe putting this Santa maybe in the corner here and then choosing a different larger card and put those together. What do you think? Just something as simple as that. And I think we could add some other embellishments. So I want to glue, glue this in. So as probably are asking in the chat where I am going for our vacation, we have driven to Galveston, Texas. It's about a little over an eight hour drive from us. We like driving to the port that we're going to get on a cruise because we don't have to worry about restrictions when flying. We have gone on cruises where we had to fly, but here recently, you know, we enjoy the places that these cruise lines that leave out of Galveston go to. Yes, there are other places I'd love to go, but the expense of flying right now is just not in our budget so we make do by driving so we drove down to galveston on friday night or friday afternoon i would say we probably had shot for the idea that we would leave before noon and we may or may not have cheesed that i I'm, i'll ask me in the chat and i'll say <laughs> uh, so we like to get there a little bit early that way we can go to our room and kind of just relax a little bit you know when you're starting your vacation you don't want to start it stressed out okay so i've got some little ephemera pieces and i'm looking to see if there's something in there so you know we try to um, go early and relax a little bit i don't know all of a sudden this kind of calls to me maybe this is, says Christmas greetings, and I could put that up here at the top with this, and then put this at the bottom. I think that would be really super cute. 
All right, where was I? Uh, yes, so we drive down on Friday, and we'll usually find something to eat. The hotel where we stay is right next to a Kroger's grocery store. So we sometimes, well, the past two times, we would go over there and see what they had in their uh, ready-made meals. They're basically meals that you're supposed to take home and pop in the oven. And we didn't know that the first time. We just took it to our hotel room and then realized that it was in a metal pan. It couldn't be microwaved. But being the crafty person that I am, I figured out a way to microwave it. <laughs> Not in that metal. <laughs> So the next time we went, the second time we did that, we remembered to bring a couple of paper plates so that we were prepared to go ahead and cook our dinner. I don't know if we're going to do that this time or not. Um, who knows? I, my glue, I need to see if I have one more bottle. My glue was almost empty and I poured it into this bottle and then I made the mistake of putting some water in the old bottle and shaking it around and then pouring that into this little bottle and so my glue is really runny at the moment. <laughs> This one might have enough in it. I wasn't sure I had one. I gotta buy some more glue. I go through this glue a lot, even though, oh, come on, you're gonna tell me I won't, I can't get you apart. Ah! I lost the lid. <laughs> hey, it's just like a normal line. I may leave this in here. I lost the lid. There it goes. <laughs> this is the fun we have. Okay, so I can't get the lid off. So I'm going to put the lid back on, meaning I could get the cap off. I can't get the nozzle off. So <laughs> I banged it on the cabinet. Now I can get it open. So now I gotta do this one. It's the only thing about glue, it's it's uh has a tendency to glue your bottle shut. And I'm just gonna take it. I don't ever show this, but I might as well. And I'm just trying to get it to come out. If I'm lucky and I can find my funnel, which I have a couple of them, right? Don't y'all? That I have no idea where they are. My craft room funnels, <laughs> that is. Sometimes I can just kind of pour it. I found that I take the cap off because it's just so much more easier to get some into my other bottle quicker because if you leave the cap on and you squeeze through that little nozzle, it um, takes forever. All right, let's see if that helps my glue. But I think that turned out pretty cute. Squirrel! Okay this back up here. Just shaking my glue. Shake it up baby now. Twist it and shout. Shake it up baby now. All right. Um, should I go ahead and do something on this page while we're here? Because this is going to go there. Might as well. Um, maybe I've got some papers here. I kind of sorted some papers that were left over the last time I did some Christmas. Some of these were actual papers that um, I would have used in one of the kits. That's a piece of cardstock. I got this. What if I were to cover that book page with this red paper? And possibly even stamp around the edges. Why not? And what I could do, oh yeah, so this side has decoration on it, but the other one doesn't. So let's mark this and cut it to fit. So 
So I'm going to say, it doesn't really matter which side, but I want it to come to the edge here. And then it should pretty much, yeah, fit that way. So I just need to slice off this portion. I could fold this portion and make a pocket. So I would cut off just a small part of this and then it would be here to have that edge to put stuff in. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to grab my paper cutter. All right, so I marked it here. That's where I folded it. And I need to cut off the longer side, if I think I did this right. Yes. So I need to cut off. And I'm just going to leave about about half an inch and then this piece can go back into that scrap bin again so my idea is that I take this piece and I'm going to glue this piece down on top of the book page and so we'll have an opening here where we can put something in a pocket. So the next thing I want to do is I want to decorate this. I'm going to add a little bit of glue so that this little flap stays over. All right, so where was I? So we're going to go to... Um, Roatan Honduras ish is what we call it. I think it's called um, Mahogany Bay is the port that we'll go to. There we're going to do a beach excursion. Of course, it also depends on the weather. We have a little tent type thing that covers, gives you like a like an umbrella to cover you, and then we have the opportunity to go on a kayak and go around this little cove and what else um what else is what's the third thing oh we get fl uh, floats so if we just want to go out into the ocean and float they give these little they're like a raft that you can lay on so that's we've done it before and i liked it I burned so easily, so we try to make sure that we have guaranteed shade for me. Even though I wear sunscreen, I still burn, so I have to be really careful and stay out of the sun directly. And I even bought a new um, swimsuit that has long sleeves. It comes all the way down to my, my, my wrists, and it has shorts. I didn't go for the long pants on that one. I may, I've, I do wear some pants occasionally when I uh, go swimming just because I don't want my legs to burn. All right. So I just added the, it's like a mistletoe stamp. I don't think I had to explain everything. And I just stamped it all over. So it gives us a nice frame. And then I was going to put this on top of it. We could make this two pockets, one with the card and one here. Or another thing I could do is hinge this. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to glue down this piece so the glue will be drying. This is just a text weight paper. So it's not real thick, but... It should be enough to hold ephemera cards or maybe a handwritten note or letter, journaling, photographs. All right, so I'm going to put this over here. Oh, and to get in the Christmas spirit, I, I've got, you know, I think I showed y'all two weeks ago that I was going to get some spice. Well, I got this last week. And this one has 
gingerbread, apple cider, coffee cake, harvest spice, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie. And I did gingerbread today, and it smells so good. <laughs> I'm going to be like, where are my gingerbread cookies? <laughs> All right. I think what I want to do <coughs> is make this hinge or another thing I could do is make tabs that this sticks under. I think that's what I want to do. And I'm going to do that using one of these from calico collage and i think this might be the christmas dream i don't know but i just cut it in half i forget to use these things and so they end up in my little bin of extras and i was just noticing how much space there was but why couldn't we hook this on the top and the bottom and that holds our card in that was my thinking all right so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to put some glue on this side and i want to gauge where i want it so probably right about there it's going to kind of move it up and then I'll put glue on the other side. These happen to be two-sided with a little opening on both sides. Some of them don't have that. Like this one doesn't have it on that side, but it does on this side. And I don't think it matters. If you don't want to use the matchy-matchy, you could use the different ones. If you don't have these, you can make your own. Just look at a file folder tab and... Kind of trace your own style. I could have probably put this one down lower. Let's see. Just wiping away the excess glue. Okay, I think that's going to work. All right, streak time. All right, so... Have a Merry Christmas. There's nothing on this side. So let me look at my papers and maybe we should add. I've got a little piece of coffee dyed paper. I could glue it directly to the back or just make it slightly smaller than the front and just attach it maybe at the top so we can use it. I was trying to decide if I wanted to attach it down the side and then fold it. I don't know. Let's see. See, and if you were here live with me, you could say fold it or just make strips, Linda. <laughs> and then I would ignore what you had to say and do it the way that I want to do it anyway. <laughs> Oh dear. I think what I could do is fold this over, making it just a little bit smaller than the card, and then just glue it down this side, and then it would fold out. I could go ahead and fold this up too. Why not? Just make it an unusual letter. Yeah, I was going to fold it to the inside, but if I did that, I can do this though. Look here. I'm going to fold that back. We're going to glue this down here and then fold this part up. Okay. I think I'm going to add some distress inks to the back side of this and to the um, coffee dyed paper. So then Mahogany Bay, that's where we would hang out for the beach for a little while. One of the other stops that we're going to make is uh, Costa Maya, Mexico. It's a private island. In fact, here recently, 
the Royal Caribbean organization company cruise line purchased that island. I think what they're going to be doing is making a private resort for Royal Caribbean, much like their, what is it? Um, uh, special that something day at Coco K. I don't remember what it is, what their slogan is, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. We probably won't get off the ship in Costa Maya because it's a very touristy, um, little town, if you will. I mean, it's just right there at the port, unless you get away from there. And a lot of people don't like to get away from the port unless you go on an excursion and, we don't really want to go on excursions. So more than likely, we're going to hang out on the ship, um, maybe sleep late, you know, go go have brunch and sit, find a place um, that's comfortable to sit. Maybe we'll sit by the pool or just up on one of the upper decks where we can look out over the ocean. That's some of the stuff that we like to do on what we call sea days sometimes, but when we're in port, those areas aren't near as crowded. So we like to go check those out. So that's probably what we're gonna do in Costa Maya. All right, so I just folded that up to fit on there. And then you can unfold this, you fold this over, and then you have some writing space. Now I may, I was trying to decide if I should fold this there. Okay, fold this this way. Yeah, so now it kind of gives that look. I don't know that I need to put anything on here. We could, let's see what I've got. I've got a, I've got a little gnome. Let's stick a little gnome on there. I think that would be cute. Now, if I were smart before I glue that down, if I had some uh, fibers or something, I thought I would just grab a piece of lace. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it. And then my thought was I put it here and then put the little gnome kind of over it. There. All right, so the tab should be adhered and this should then slide up under. Oh, I didn't let that dry long enough. Come on now. Okay. Put that. It's a tight, snug fit, but I think... I think that's good so it won't fall out and then there's a pocket here so if you want to put something in there you can you have that center of the red that can be written upon so I think that's kind of cool how that turned out mm. I'm I don't think I've been putting you know, rhinestones and that kind of stuff. Maybe that will be another session when I come back and just add variety of different embellishments. All right, I think I want to skip forward and find another spot where I can add something. 
looks like a page that I started by layering out a few things. So just kind of using what's already there. I think, let's see, maybe this kind of pinkish one. It would barely fit, but if I were to make this a gusseted pocket, that would look kind of pretty on this page. So let's put these together. So first I've got a piece of the scrapbook paper from one of the Christmas dreams or Christmas um, wish. I'm not sure. And it's just on text weight paper. So I'm looking right now to decide if I want to put it onto a book page or do I want to go thicker. And I think a book page will work. have some old books here. This one I think is an encyclopedia. Yeah, our, our dic dictionary. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half. We're going to make a pocket out of this. Just going to add some glue. Then I'll use my bone folder to smooth out that glue. All right, so then we'll, I believe on Halloween, we're going to be in Cozumel. And we have an excursion there. We're going to go uh, to an adult island getaway or something to that effect. And uh, I think you're supposed to give us transportation over there. And then we have food, I think, maybe for lunch. I'm not positive. I can't remember. And what else? I think we can go snorkeling and swimming if you want, that kind of stuff. And, you know, sit by the beach and drink your favorite beverage <laughs> type of vibe. All right. I'm cut off some of this excess, but I'm going to leave enough to make a tab. That way I can use the full size of this pocket. So, and that'll be our first time to do this particular excursion. We have done others where we've gone to a beach house and they had staff that would bring you food and drinks and you could go snorkeling and swimming you could just sit back and chill, whatever you wanted to do. So this was just a different variety of that same kind of stuff that we've done in the past. All right. So I've got this guy that we're going to put as a pocket here. And I've got a couple of these images left. So what if, since we're going to put this guy in there, if we put this one on here, and then we've got some extra pieces here that we can go behind. I think that would be kind of cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this together. So I'll glue this down. I like mixing all these different sets together. And then Halloween night, I think, is a formal night on the ship. I don't know how formal we're going to get. We may just um, wear black. I don't know. We have not got costumes. I, I wanted to, but I'm not real sure. I have the, the little unicorn horn with the ears that Robin gave me. I might take that on the cruise. And I have some fake eyelashes that have sparkle on them. I don't remember if they're just glitter or if it's got rhinestones, but I don't know. I just thought, well, I have a sparkly top and I could just be, you know, a glitter rainbow, glitter, glitter, glitter unicorn. <laughs> I don't know. Something silly. Okay. I don't know. 
Okay, that paper clip is not necessary. But I am going to glue this kind of here at the bottom of this. I was going to look. I can't see. Where are my... There they are. How much time have we spent so far? So about 30 minutes so far is what I've spent to this point in real time. And we've, we're getting ready to do three journal pages in 30 minutes. Of course, I did have some of this stuff laid out. But that's something you can do too, is get your journal somewhat laid out the way you want. Maybe you don't have a lot of time frequently, but you have chunks every once in a while where you can spend some time. Where you can kind of prep it, just put a journal together like I've done here. This is some ideas of things that I wanted to use on this other page. So I just paper clipped them to that page so that I had the opportunity to figure out what to do with that. Maybe we'll figure something out today. All right, so then this piece could go in here. And then this is a card that's already made. It needs to be distressed. And, oh, I see. This was a piece off of a label or a journal card um, set. And maybe what we could do is we put this guy on here. Maybe we can find some pretty paper to cover that. So let's look. Ooh. What if we did this? This is a gel print. This is my Buffalo plaid stencil. So I put down a layer of red. No. I put down the stencil and put down red paint. Then I remove the stencil and I put down gold paint. And then you lift this. That's how I got this. I do have some videos on gel printing with the plaid, a uh, buffalo plaid. I think that, because we can, I think that'll be cute. All right, so let's make that. All right, so I'm going to cut this to be, actually, I'm just going to glue it down and then cut it. Because sometimes if you cut it as a separate piece, I have a tendency to cut the wrong size. Okay. So I'm going to put this in a position to where it's even on this side and the excess goes that way. That way, when I, I think I want this one, uh, when I go to trim the excess paper away, I'm not going to accidentally cut the spine of my little folded paper here. See? Got to be smart sometimes. <laughs> Ask me how I know to do it that way. Because I have cut my cards in half several times. <sighs> and even, See, I still got a little sliver when I cut. But we got smaller pieces that are going back in my red pile. All right, let's add some distress inks and glue this together. I need to see if I can find another sentiment to put on it, like Merry Christmas or something. I did get my stamps out. They're laying over here to the side. So I have used the mistletoe. I could look to see if I've got maybe a Merry Christmas that would fit. Just adding a little bit to it. We'll leave the inside for later. All right, so my idea was to put it up high and then we could put like Merry Christmas or something at the bottom, or we could put it at the bottom and put the Merry Christmas at the top. I think that'll be cuter. All right, so I'm gonna flip through here real fast. 
see if I saw something that would work. No, I don't see anything right there. All right. I've got the Merry Christmas sentiments. Um, I think I'll do this one. Yeah. Now I just need a piece of paper. Maybe a strip of a white or ivory. We don't... Well, we could do the brown. Let's do this brown. Get my ink pad. All right, so I'm just going to stamp it really close to the edge here. So make sure you just press firmly. Don't rock your stamp. And you'll get a nice, good impression. And then I'm just going to trim this down. There we go. I think that'll be cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's put some distress inks around that piece. I just saw this. What if I glue, of course we're gonna cover it up, but if I glue across, here, do I want to glue down the Merry Christmas and then glue this right below it? I think that's what I want to do. All right, so I'm going to get my beacon glue because this is acrylic paint. This is a real gel print, and sometimes Aline's tacky glue doesn't stick very well. So I'm using this beacon glue. All right. And then we'll put this one down. I'm going to leave a, a secret compartment. It's called a pocket. Now, do I want to just put a little strip right in between? I think so. All right. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue right down the middle. There. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to slide it over. Okay. Okay close up my glue and then I'll trim off that excess. There. And it dries fairly quick. Okay. So now we got this piece can go back here. So it has all these layers sticking out. All right, so over here, it looks like I started by gluing down a piece of paper on this side. And I've got an envelope and I've got a piece of green paper. Okay, I think I know what I was going to do. I think I was going to glue this over the flap, okay? which would cover up the hallmark and the sticker. And I would probably use this gold foil as part of it. And then use this little 
snowflake to help hold it close and then we would have a little envelope here maybe we should decorate this portion of it so get this out of the way all right so I can't go too far maybe I should go this way and then that way I don't have to worry okay because if I line this up right to the edge this should go past where the fold is on the envelope so that it's wrapped all the way around. So I'm going to put glue on here. Okay. I'm just adding a little bit more glue so it'll kind of cover this area. Slide it up into spot. Okay, so now when I fold this over, Now we can leave it as that full piece or I can cut it to the envelope shape. I'm kind of thinking of leaving it to the shape that it is. And maybe I'll cover this back piece. Let me see if I've got, I do I have a piece of coffee dyed paper. And I think what I'm going to do is just back or line that envelope right there. And then that way, when you flip this over, you have writing space on the flap if you want. And it covers this up, makes it look a lot neater. This is just a book page, so it's rather thin. So we'll have Halloween. We're not going to have a costume that I know of unless I bring my unicorn <laughs> stuff. Um, I think we have a day, maybe a day at sea the next day. So we'll probably just kind of chill around the ship and check out some of the music. There's usually, usually a live music and then there's comedians that come on the ship. So sometimes we like to go listen watch those things and then uh, we'll come home on uh, Saturday so we'll be gone for a week okay so there is that I'm doing something today that I have never really done in my life until here recently Partly because in the past you couldn't or it would fall to pieces and now they're designing them where you can do it as often as you like. And that is washing my shoes in a washing machine. I purchased some Skechers tennis shoes a while back and it said these are machine washable and I'm like, okay, whatever. And they're a light, they're kind of a light pink in that they're, they're fluorescent pink, but they're light pink. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's, it's different, that's for sure. But they show dirt. I can wear them for a day and you'll see little scuff marks on them. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to try washing these. These are expensive shoes to throw them in the washing machine. And I did. And I learned that you, then you, if my dump dryer is a tumbler, so instead of just throwing your shoes in there, if you have shoe strings, pull your shoe strings up into a little slip loose knot and then put the strings between your door and shut it in the machine and then let go of the string and your shoes should be hanging at the door and they're not going to tumble in your dryer. 
So that's what I've been doing is washing my shoes. So they're in the washing machine or dryer right now. My other shoes that don't have shoe strings that are also washable, I put those in a um, pillowcase and then I took a string and had that hanging out the door. Let's we'll see if that works. It's the first time I've done it that way on those. Okay, I think I'm just going to put this little um, snowflake right here in the middle. I think that'll look good there. Let's get this. So what is something that maybe you didn't do, you know, years and years ago? Because if I had put shoes in a washing machine years ago, they would have just fallen apart. <laughs> <laughs> but now they're making them where you can just throw them in the washing machine. Does that sound convenient to you? You sure had clean shoes that way. Okay, I like it. I don't know if I want to add anything to this side. I do have a snowflake rubber stamp why don't I look for should I do a green and stamp in green down the side I don't know if pine needles would be the right color that looks like a completely different shade of green. How about um, forest moss? Maybe? I don't know. Lawn. Yeah, I don't think that's the right shade of green. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because I'm not totally sure that's what I want to use. So I'm going to stamp. That's, ooh, I don't like that green. Nope, that's a no. Let's see what this one does. That's a maybe. I think that's closer to the right shade of green. Just trying to clean off my. So which green? I think this one, because I think this one is too far away, but this one's closer. Okay. So we're going to get rid of those. Sometimes you have to kind of test them out and see which one's going to work. All right, so I'm going to open this up. I think I'm just going to kind of do the edge. And I'm trying to do it really lightly. So it's not getting a super strong impression. Yeah, I think that just kind of adds a little bit to it so it's not stark white anymore. All right, so I'm going to clean off my stamp. Okay. So this is supposed to be glued on here. And I'm kind of thinking this is sticking out here. I don't know if it was do if I did that on purpose. So I'm thinking of posting it out further. Let's see here. This card is going to go on this side. If I make it even, then I can trim this off. Or I could use this as like a page tab. I think I'm just going to glue it down. And then this will open up. And you have a place here. And then you could put stuff in the pocket. Okay. 
Recycling an envelope. You can still see the book page in there. We didn't cover that up all the way. I think I'm going to leave that one the way that it is. That may be something I'll come back to later. I could, with a different shade of green, put this Santa in here. How many thingies do I have left? I have... I have these left. What if we were to... No, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't think I want that in there. All right, let's go ahead and flip this over. So this was a card that was given to me that I want to retain the way that it looks. So I think I want to do the same technique where I use a tab and glued it to the page. Maybe this one. I think I like this idea so I can add things that I want to keep the way they are. It was a card that Henry was friends with this guy in a band and they played together. And then I became friends with the wife of one of the band members, that same band member. Um, and so I got to know them for quite some time and then their life changed and she moved on and kind of lost touch with her. I'm, it, which is funny is she's remarried and her new husband and I are friends at, on Facebook because we used to work together. So it's kind of one of these weird worlds, you know, but I still like to think of them. So uh, maybe it's weird to keep a card from a couple that you don't really talk to anymore, but I don't know, memories, right? And she was Chinese. And so even her handwriting was so neat and precise. Mm. Okay, so that's going to go here. I think that'll be good. What do you think? Did y'all like the kind of the couple of the ideas that I came up with today so far? Um, I'll flip through this real fast and see if I can find another easy little thing that we could do. Hmm. I don't think that's what I want. You know what? I can save this for another time. I don't have to use all of these right this second. Oh, and I know that there's a pocket at the front of this journal. Look here. What I can do. Ha! I found a spot and then I can stick him. Oh, that's kind of cute. Just kind of sticking out of there. All right. So I came today. I shared with y'all. Oh, I have another one that we didn't use. Um, some ideas of adding some things that maybe, you know, it's not um, the exact same theme. I was looking to see if I found another little tuck spot somewhere. Oh, this would be cute right there. So there, and just kind of mixed it in. You know, you don't have to have perfectly matched themes. Uh, if you want to mix it up, you can mix it up. It's your journal. Do what you love. I want to thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little chatting session with me and making a few changes to my journal. Maybe I'll do this at least a couple more times to kind of fill in. Because I see some spots still that haven't been finished. Like this is just laying there. That's just laying there. <laughs> so I've got more to do in here. Y'all do something fun. Do something creative this week. Even if it's just sitting down and organizing for a few minutes. And then maybe making a little journal card or a tag or a full-blown journal, maybe you crochet, whatever it is, get your little creative energy going. Do something fun. And then let's do something kind for somebody around you, whether it be just reaching out and saying hello to someone. I One of the ladies in my last stream mentioned 
she likes to order an Uber Eats or an Uber, not Uber, uh, what is the other one called? Instacart or something like that for a friend that maybe lived long, long way from her of maybe their goodies that they like or food or whatever it may be. And maybe just reaching out to somebody would be a good thing or smiling if you come in contact with another human being. <laughs> Y'all have an amazing week. I will see you in the next live stream. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We may continue this. If you would like me to continue Christmas, comment Christmas underneath the video and I will work on Christmas again next week. Y'all have an amazing week. We'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.